So I gave this dude a call. I saw this truck on Facebook Marketplace and it's an old 48 Chevy single axle. Thing is rusted out, hasn't ran in like 40 years. So on Facebook Marketplace, I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming there. I am gonna be there soon. And so um, we got about a 30 minute drive over to it. Not bad, but I'm gonna go check out that truck and maybe hopefully purchase it because the greatest part is, is there's no engine in the truck. So I have to give a shout out to Tyler Kizzle and uh, Josh Knapp for giving me this engine. But I picked up this engine the other day and I went over to these guys' place and they gave it to me. And so I am just like pumped to have this engine. And it was actually donated to RCC. It's a nice engine. It is a heck of an engine. It's an old Cummins engine out of an other old semi. So this is gonna be the replacement engine for this new truck we may get. So I gotta figure out what truck we're gonna take to go pick this up if we do buy it. I know what trailer we're gonna take, but I gotta figure out a truck. And I usually I use this Kenworth that's inside here, but I do wanna switch things up just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Cummins to switch things up. This hasn't sold. I haven't been able to sell this truck at all. Like, I don't know. So we're just gonna use it. It's fun always driving different trucks off the lot and stuff. Since technically I own them, uh, they're my truck. So I always wanna just drive a new truck. Man, has it been a long time since we've driven this Cummins, dude. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing I'm taking it. We're, we're going to most likely be pulling something heavy behind it. It'll clean the cobwebs out of her a little bit. So, I mean, this thing, I need to sell this truck. Maybe I need to lower the price or something. This truck needs to get sold. It's been on the lot forever. So we got about a 20 minute drive or so, 30 minute drive or so. So I'll see you guys once we get close. So here we are. The guy that actually owns this shop um, is an older or he's he's a i don't know mid-aged guy that inherited the shop from his dad it's kind of neat it's a like a little gas sta gas station but it's got that like cute older charm i guess so well, there he is hey man how you How's doing going, man? good Pretty how good? are you good what can i help you with so um well i'm the gentleman that actually called you from uh facebook oh, marketplace okay, yeah. yeah i'm coming to take a look at that uh 48 chevy you got back there where oh, okay grant right yes grant what's your name by the way bart bark bart bart Bart. Okay. Bart. Okay. Nice. 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 I like the name, man. Hey, is this K30 here? You got this for sale too? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been looking to trade in, but kind of not for sale, but Ooh, okay. you know, I still need a truck. Okay. Here, let me shut my truck off. It's kind of loud. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually the owner of Rolling Core Customs. Do you know that shop? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. 30 minutes down Southwest down there. Yeah. 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 If, you know, if we end up doing like a deal like this, I, I could I could trade you a truck. We have tons of trucks. We have we're pretty much all diesel over at Royal Customs and stuff. So if you're looking Perfect. for a big puller, I could you know, we can work something out here. If I buy this truck, man, I could definitely work something out with you. Oh, dude, that'd be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Do you pull anything with this K30? Uh, the odd trailer sometimes, you know, hauling scrap around and whatever. But I got gotcha. you. Yeah, like a lot of our customers that come in, honestly, some of the guys won't even pull anything and they just love having a diesel and having that low end torque. Okay, so where's this? Dude, you got everything that's like broke down over here, man. Holy oh, yeah. crap. What is this stuff? Is this truck for sale or holy crap, man? It's a little... Uh... It can be. Okay, okay. Where's the uh, Where's the 48 Chevy at, dude? Right over here. Yeah. No, this isn't, this isn't the Chevy I was looking at. What are you talking about? What do you mean? I think, no, the picture you posted was a it was a different chevy it was it's this it was this the 48 chevy single axle is what i was looking at oh this thing yeah okay. man yeah i mean uh, dude for the price you're asking for this i would take that other chevy over there don't get me wrong but this is what i was looking at man oh so you have this truck for sale that's why you got it mixed up oh you have two yeah trucks for sale. yeah i was confused i got gotcha. you i got gotcha, you man pull this out of here do you have anything to pull this out of here with be, uh, that way i can just like take a better look at it can we just drag it out or Man, that K30, she's got some bark to her yet. Holy crap, yeah. dude, that sucker yeah, it's pulls. Still, it's still a great truck. Yeah. Yeah, it was my dad's truck. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so, uh, yeah, tell me a little about the Chevy, man. How long have you guys had it? What's, what's, I know you had a neat uh, story well, about it. Well, we've had it for about, last it was running, well, it was about, oh, I can't even remember last time it was running, dude, but, uh, yeah, it's it's been around here for ever since I can remember. So I think I think it was something that my dad had. I gotcha. So it's been sitting for over ten plus years. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Tires still holding air. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. So the engine got taken out of it, right? There's no engine to this truck. Yeah, no engine. 
See, I got a Cummins engine. I'm gonna, cause I want to restore this for my my shop does a lot of restorations, and I'm, oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out if that if my Cummins engine I have planned for it is even gonna fit in the front of this truck. I don't know, cause it's like it's it, it's. I think we can make it fit, but it might be a little tougher. I'm, I'm thinking about tossing a flatbed on it. Imagine a flatbed on this truck. I think that would be sick. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of rust though. I got to do a lot of work to get a lot of this rust off and probably just a lot of new stuff on, on here. Uh, okay, let's get to the dirty part. How much you asking for? I don't know. What do you What do you want to offer? Have what you had offer? any other offers? Uh, not that you can no, say. No, not probably. recently. I got you. Okay. Would you take? I want to give you a fair price. I, I really do. I don't want to screw you over. It's tough because there's not this market. There's not many things bought and sold in this market. You know. So would you take four grand for it? It's a classic. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Four grand. Yeah. Could you do forty five? Okay, I got a deal for you. I'll do 45, but the 45 is a discount to RCC. So basically it's trading credits. So you'll get, you could buy something at RCC that's worth $4,500. So that, that sounds like a good deal. Sounds like a deal? Okay. I, I'll I'm I'll cool with that. that, man. Okay. So I got to figure out how to get this thing loaded up. Cause I don't know if K30 is going to pull it all the way back. And I don't know if that thing is illegal to uh, just drag all the way back to RCC. So I got my yeah, trailer I here. I don't know if you want to help me load it up. If you, if you could, I'm just going to. Yeah, I can help. Could I pull around through here? I think I can do it without running over the cotton. Okay, so I'm gonna be pulling this over. There Bart goes. Oh, he's gotta cut through the ditch. Oh shoot, we gotta cut through the ditch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Oh shoot, maybe I should've brought more of an off-road truck for this. I didn't expect this. There we go, we're making her. Okay, so I said I wouldn't run through over this cotton. Bart, check, out, check this out. I got a remote for the winch, so we could just stand here, man all day eat a big mac and then just watch this thing do the work um nice there we go perfect that's what i'm looking for that we can straighten this out now Man, actually a little winch it's got a lot of power yeah dude uh, but the one thing is you need weight you can't hook up a tiny little truck to that trailer okay so maybe what i can do now is i can unfold those ramps already i thought for sure we were gonna have to unattach it and kind of do some maneuvering but i think i can unfold those ramps nice bart we got her done boy <laughs> Nice. So are you gonna A, are you gonna stop over after this? Or you wanna follow me back? Yeah, even? sure. Yeah, dude, yeah, I can show I can you around the place, I can show you trucks. You don't even have to buy anything today, man. Feel free to just feel free to I don't know, shop. I'll just show you around the place. It's cool because uh, to be honest, we don't have many people stop in, so I wanna give you a personal tour, Bart. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Okay, sounds good. Just follow me back over there. Alright. Now here's the sketchy part. Pulling through the ditch, dude. At first I was like pulling through the ditch without a trailer or with on a load, I was like, hold it, sketch out about that, but man, we got some weight behind us. <laughs> the trailer's literally dragging back there. Dude, this is so uh, this is why you buy big text boys. She holds up. Oh my gosh. There we go. I love just seeing the Kelmans just roll coal out of there. There's some good weight to this, so we're gonna head back over there. It'll be about a 30 minute drive back to RCC, and then I can show Bart around. I'm excited to have like one of our first sales at this new RC locate RCC location. I know a lot of people have been asking. And finally, we may just have our first sale. It's gonna be great. And you know what? The thing is, is Bart's K30. Think about this. K30. That's gonna be a heck of a restoration truck. I think. I think we could really do some work to that truck and resell it and and really add value to the truck, though. Seriously, not just like buying the truck and then asking a higher price and then flipping it. We can seriously add some value to that truck maybe put a flatbed on her i could do a lot of different stuff to it definitely clean up the whole body of it and we're back at rcc now the thing is is i want to get this truck done uh by today or tomorrow but it's going to take my guys a long time to actually get this done so i don't know if we're going to get this done or not i have no idea if it's going to get get it done or not who knows it, this may be a couple weeks a couple week project so since bart's pulling in with me uh, I'm not gonna have time to unload this. I'm not just gonna waste this time and have him wait here for 30 minutes. For now, I'm just gonna probably park this. I don't know, I gotta find a good spot. Somewhere back here. Actually, you know what? I'll just park it where the trailers go. And we'll pull it out some other time. It's gonna be a good project truck though, especially if I can get that Cummins engine to fit in there. Bart, how you doing, man? Wait, where- Hey, man. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> I can hear your voice somewhere over there. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is Brop Shop. So- Ooh. So this is, uh, this is our power sports store, but then over here to the left is RCC. I own both of these stores. Like, so if you need Players K&M Yamaha, you can see right there, we got them all. So uh, we have a lot, we don't have 
crazy amount of inventory right now, but we're always expanding. So, uh, and we can always order anything you need also. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So do you want to take a look at RCC first, shop for a truck, and then maybe come back? Yeah, sure. The Brop shop? Okay. Sounds good. Right. Um, You know what? You know what, man? This is a big place. So if you want, I have a couple of Yamaha Grizzlies. If you want, we can we can ride around on those. Ooh, to kind of a test drive. Yeah, because I don't want you. I don't want you to walk. I don't want my customers to just walk all the way around here. So, hop on this. Uh, or, wait, do you? Hey, Art, do you want camo or do you want red? Ooh, that's a hard decision. You know, I, I think I'm gonna have to go with camo. Okay, okay. Let me pull a camo one out for you out of the back, and I'll pull it right up here. All right. Bart, here's your 2019 uh, Can -Am, or Yamaha Grizzly. I almost said Can Am there. We sell a lot of Can Am. Uh, this thing looks nice. Yeah, dude. dude. A lot of dealerships will like have their clients go around in golf carts and stuff and ride on the back. I'm like, who wants to do that? Why wouldn't you r want to ride around an ATV around dealership? So, yeah, jump on. Sounds way more fun. I'm gonna take the red one and uh, just follow me around here. <clears throat> so I gotta think of a good truck for Bart. Um, we have a couple. I'm trying to think what he's gonna want. I gotta ask him first of all. He's gonna want a dually or what? So Bart, here, are, do you plow at all? Do you push snow? You, uh, in the winter time, usually I usually try not to do it in the winter. I got in you. The summer, sorry. I got you. Yeah, that's probably smart. Um, yeah. At the uh, at the gas station, you're gonna probably need, gonna need a snowplow. Now the thing is, is if you buy a truck from here, we can always. I have a. Uh, to be honest, we subcontract out of out all the snowplow installs. So like, I I have the snowplow, I have the truck, but I don't actually install the snowplow mount and stuff. My buddy down the road, Mike's Garage, usually does that. So. Any truck oh, okay. you buy, though, we can still install a snowplow. So, but for right now, how about, how about a, a snowplow on a quad? Oh, <laughs> you know what? Eight. Hey, I think I bet you we could do that because that's one thing I've been looking into over at Brop Shop, like adding snowplows to some of our vehicles as winter's soon approaching. That would be sick. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Um. Okay. So here, first of all, are you? I didn't. I guess I didn't ask. Are you looking for a dually still, or or do you want to go single rear wheel? Because. Uh, Depends, honestly. Depends. depends on the price. I gotcha. Depends on, you know, I'm. I've always wanted a Dodge though. A Dodge is like, okay, okay, my main, okay. my main dream truck. Yeah, I was honestly thinking for you, like a long bed, single rear wheel, thirty five hundred would be perfect. That way you can easily drive it daily, not have a dually. But if you want to go the dually route, I understand too. Um. So, anyways, well, here's dude. Here's the perfect Ram. This isn't a Dodge anymore. I don't know if you know, but dodge like they changed to ram now and stuff i still call them dodge sometimes my people get mad at me all the time so uh <laughs> like customers will be like whoa did you just call that a dodge i'm like it's i know it's a ram i apologize so eh, um still a dodge here's <laughs> oh dude tell tell that to my kid he'll he'll scream at you dude he'll scream at you <laughs> so uh we got uh this is ram 3500 now one thing about this doesn't have almost any miles. If you if you took a test drive with it, it'll have miles. It's brand new. It's 2020. Um, two tone. I don't know if you like the two tone look or not. I'm a I big love fan the of it. Two tone look. It's a limited, so it's got leather, you got navigation, you got all the goodies fully loaded inside. It's not the mega cab though. So okay. mega cab's gonna add, I don't know, probably an extra foot on the rear. It's not the mega cab, but that also saves you length if you're daily driving it, you're parking it all the time. Sometimes it's nice not to have the med cap. My question is, can you fit an ATV in the back of this? Fit an ATV? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't know about this because Ram actually came out with a new design where they have toolboxes inside the inside the sides of it. And so it, oh, yeah. it took away, I mean, they took away space to put stuff in there. I don't like the design personally. Some guys love it if they're always working on stuff. Um, as far as an ATV, I bet you you could still fit an ATV. Before you buy it, we could definitely check that out, though. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd like to look at some other trucks, though. Okay. Um, would you want the plow with it then if you bought that? Ooh, I don't know about a V plow. Okay. Okay. Well, here, I don't know if you want to look at this Ford here. Uh, this is F two fifty six seven Power Stroke. Actually, puts around, puts out nine hundred thirty five foot pound of torque. But the Cummins over here, uh, I don't know if you knew, but their ratings this year hit over a thousand foot pound of torque. This Cummins. So oh, wow. I mean, that's an insane amount compared to this truck. But that's a, she's a beast over there. This is still a F two fifty over here. Sounds expensive. Oh yeah, she's got a she's got a V plow. Actually, this truck we have this listed at sixty eight thousand right now, which is is it? It's for a fully loaded good, limited right? and a V plow on it. Like that's a heck of a deal, in, in my opinion. You don't what see I've that seen that every day. Yeah. 
So, and especially with your, uh, what did we see? A forty five hundred dollar discount you're going to get here for the trade in of for the trade in of the semi, and then also your K thirty. Yeah, that would be okay. So here, Ford F two fifty. It's a twenty seventeen, so it's used. It's got about forty thousand miles on it. It's only an XLT. So right now with the snowplow, we're asking fifty grand uh, for this, which mm. it's still got some warranty on the engine and powertrain yet too. Uh, powertrain will go to 60k and then engine will go to 100k five year warranty which is which you got i mean it's, it's she's got a lot of life after that too and if you want you can delete it and this baby will roll Ooh, cool like crazy nice. oh yeah so uh what do you drive personally i drive an f-250 just like this 2017 it's got about 70,000 miles nothing nothing has happened to this yeah so hmm. this is almost like my daily driver right now that i drive this truck right here so and you know what? With That's the snow, nice yeah, with the snowplow and the salt they lay down, you're never gonna have rust issues on the body because this bit puppy's aluminum. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that was always kind of a problem with my K30. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Wherever you parked that thing, yeah, back there. Yeah. So hey, let's jump on the quads and uh, we'll head up here. Oh. Hey. <laughs> my bad. I saw your I saw the wrong quad. My bad. Hey, I might buy this thing, so <laughs> I, I keep I'm sorry. I'm it. sorry, man. Yo Bart, you interested in any of those trucks along here? Tell me to stop if we're if you're if you're specifically looking at one. Oh, I don't know. That that looks a bit yeah, it looks <laughs> a bit much for me. Dude, I'll tell you for sure that an ATV will fit in the back of that truck. <laughs> I don't think I need something that big. Okay, so Ooh, now this is more my style. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a second gen. And you know, say you want like a flatbed on this truck. You could always purchase it, and we could we could do that, and we could put it on for you. I just wanted to let you know about that too. Um, yeah, this is a second gen, 1997. It's the sport. Uh, it's a sport package on it, so it's got colored front bumper, colored rear bumper, colored front grille. We went maroon with this color actually. Um, and you know, the lucky thing is it only has 130k miles, dude. Some guys will push these second gen, these 12 valves to almost you know. I've seen over a million miles, so. It's insane oh, yeah. what some guys will do with these trucks. Not a huge fan of the sport package. I'm more of a more of a stock guy. Like oh, okay. Stock second do, gen. So you're almost you're almost like that uh, the Dooley Oz driving. You, you probably like that yeah. truck. We have yeah, that for sale too, nice. dude. We haven't, and you know what? We haven't sold that. So I'd be willing. I'd be willing to come down on the price of that truck a little bit too. Also. You, you know, I don't think I need a Dooley at okay. the moment. That's it's always been a little overkill for me. Well, so Bart, I think a single. Here we go, man. Check out this puppy. Ooh, this looks fancy. She's a 2012. It's got the 67 Cummins in her. Um, it's been customized by the Expendables team. They're a local team around here, um, and they do some crazy customizations on here. Uh, it's got 35-inch tires with a 4-inch lift. Uh, it's got an aftermarket bumper on there. Um, trying to think what else they've done to it. There's a couple more things I can pull up the. I can pull up the sheet for you to, to show exactly what's been done to it, but... Uh, it looks like it's got smoked headlights as well. Oh, yeah, dude. There's, uh, yeah. And I don't fully know. One of my guys customized, custom, finished customizing this after the Expendables team, so I don't fully know what he's actually done to it. I don't know too much about this truck. Okay. So our next truck... Well, if you... Oh. If you got more second gens, that's I think that's gonna be more my style that I'm gonna be. Second gen, for. okay, okay, you're second gen guy. Well, here's another second gen, but it's got the sport package. Are you interested? Oh, uh, is there any way we could get the original bumper on it? I could, I could, we could, we could do something like that if you want. Um, also, I can try and find. Now we don't have a single rear wheel. You were saying, do you want a dually or no? Because I could get you a single wheel truck. I can find one out yet, out there for you. Some of my buddies may have one at their dealerships. We could get it from there, and we could sell it to you. You know what? A Dooley flatbed would be perfect. Dooley flatbed would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. How about? Let's go take a look. How about the, the truck I was driving? What do you think of that? If I were to put a flatbed on that truck, have my guys do that? Would you be interested in that truck? Yeah, that would actually be really nice. Okay, let's go take a look at it. I want you to drive it. I want you to check it out. Bart, she's got 150k miles on her. I just pulled. She pulls great, man. And I want you to drive it with a trailer on there. 
just see this 12 valve now it's it the, the torque the horsepower is nothing compared to some of these new trucks but she's it was top of, it was it was top of the line for its age man i, th I think it's still top of the line these, yeah these old things always are so right now i mean and especially if you're looking for longevity dude it's insane what these will put out because the new trucks the new trucks have all that def system on there it's just mandated by the government if you're if you if you're making a new diesel and so 1997, man, the government wasn't even thinking about that. So this is free and clear. That def, man, it's hard on those trucks. So yeah, maybe it costs a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe so. Maybe going the old style is uh, is a good way to go. Um, so right now we got this price, twelve thousand five hundred dollars. But I'd be okay. willing to sell it to you now for eleven five. I'm I'm just knocking the price down just because we've had it on the lot so much. Uh, 11.5 is what we got priced at, 150k miles, clean, no rust, and I can pull a flatbed on for you. But the flatbed would cost, I, we could do it for 500 bucks more to add a flatbed. We've got an, one out back that we could add on there. You know what? I, I think I, this is the one I want. Do you want to give her a test drive? I don't even know if I need to, but <laughs> you I sure, could. man? Okay. Okay, fire her up, dude. Take her for a test drive. Pull your old semi around with her. Have fun. And Bart is back. Hey, Bart. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you there. Oh, you don't have to park it. You can just leave it right there. What did you think of her? All right. I thought, yeah, this is definitely the truck. You'll take it? Definitely. Nice, For man. Sure. I'm excited to get you into Cummins. That K30 was a solid truck, but man, this 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 Cummins should e easily be able to triple its life. With that oh, K30. yeah, for sure. So, um, okay, do you you want to trade in the K30 or do you want to keep the K30? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll trade that in. Okay, okay, we can trade in that. I'll have one of my guys run out, take it for a test drive, see what I can give you for price. As far as this price, you're okay with 12 with the flatbed put on. I can have my guys put it on, I can get you, I can get you that flatbed today if we get in the shop yep. right now. Yep, that'll work. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna get this unhooked. Go ahead and take a look around Brop Shop or RCC again or anything. And we'll get that flatbed on for you and we'll get you at home today with it. All right. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate the business, man. Bart, you looking at a camper for this truck? Yeah, yeah, that would be. I'm looking at uh, just renting one. Yeah, we have rentals. Probably we have rentals. Actually, if you're well, I don't know for you since you have this truck now, you probably want to rent uh, a pull type. But these E450s rent really good. We have three of them. One's out right now. Um, and actually, a, a a guy took it out with his buddies this weekend. Um, oh, and who, so he's supposed to, he's supposed to be back soon with it. Do you, Do you know his name? Yeah, it was Buck. Oh, I know that guy. You know him? Yeah. Oh, really? I got you. Yeah. How do you know him? We're, we're, uh, we went to college together. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So he, he took this out this weekend with his friends, uh, and he said he'd have it back by Monday. So we have three of these if you ever want to. I don't know if you have wife or kids, but these are great too. But I, f I feel like you'd probably want to pull type one. Uh, You know, you kind of want to put like not so many miles on the Dodge, especially okay. if you're going like cross state whatever. man but that's where she shines man long road trips I, I that know, Cummins, I that know, low idle but you know i think definitely a rent if i ever need to rent one i'll i'll come okay yeah yeah and don't tell anybody that he didn't want me to tell anybody that oh, okay it was a rental. yeah yeah okay okay we're gonna get the flatbed on for you here she is bert now okay Ooh. one thing bert 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 i apologize bart i apologize sorry no I apologize. Problem. we have another cus customer named bert but, uh, okay, one thing, we had a five. I, I forgot to mention, the flatbed that was $500 is a used flatbed, and so it does have some use to it. I mean, a new flatbed would be two twenty five hundred bucks. So. Oh, yeah, this is all good. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we'll get you on the road, and uh, have fun with the truck, man. If you Hey, hey maybe, maybe I wanted to buy an ATV, man. Oh, uh, okay. You trying to, trying to not get much business around here? Oh, no, I just, I didn't want to be pushy, man. That's the only thing. Hey, I, I hey. didn't want to be pushy towards you. By the way, yeah, the know. K30, the, the guy was willing to, my, I talked to the county and they said, they looked at Kelly Blue Book. Uh, they'll give you three for it. We should take that. It? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so we're at 7,500 in credits through here. So right now. Um, and what, we have 12 grand, 12 grand into here. I got you. So that's... Uh, yep. 5500 is what you're going to owe us right now. But if you buy right. something from Brop Shop, maybe we could uh, take that price down a little bit since you're buying a lot of different stuff from us. You know, I think I'm going to take that camo ATV. <laughs> what? No, dude. I love that camo. I'm joking. You can have it. Uh, but right. that was awesome because that's our last camo Yamaha Grizzly. But I'll have, I'll have more on order. 
Okay. All right. Um, and that ATV is seven grand, by the way, right now. Okay. So all right, seven grand. So we're at twelve five for price. Twelve thousand five hundred dollars is what you're going to owe us at the end of the day if you do decide right. to go with that grizzly, which you said you are. So yeah. Um, okay, I'll get that grizzly. We'll get it loaded up for you. I have a loading dock back out back, and we can get that loaded up for you. If you want to pull your cousins right. around, just back behind yeah, uh, sure. prop shop. All right. That's, you that's have uh, do you have straps by the way? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. Okay, I'll let you put them on. I was gonna say we sell them inside too, but yeah, go ahead and toss yours on. I appreciate the business, man. I, I appreciate means, you selling me this stuff. It means so much that you bought from RCC and uh, Prop Shop. Hey, when I get to, when I get that forty eight Chevy done, I'll I'll swing on by your place and have you. I'll I'll give you a call and I'll have you jump in, man. Take it for a ride. All right, sweet. Yeah, uh, definitely. Also, uh, as soon as you get plow mounts in, if you ever do for these ATVs, I'd definitely be looking at one. Oh, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Well, we should have them in by winter time before the snow falls. Uh, that's one thing I want right. to get done. So. Um, I just got to figure out what plow company we're going to go with. And then we'll have that done okay. for you, man. All right. Sounds good. Enjoy the new Cummins, Bart. Will, will do. And there goes our first customer at the new location. Oh, he was a good customer, though. He was awesome. He was easy to work with. It's awesome having him. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the role play a little bit, too. Um, and anyways, guys. I'll see you later. Seriously, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Also, that 48 Chevy we got, we'll be working on next RCC episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.